Okay, this lesson is going to be over linear transformations. And so right now I'm going to graph f of x equals x, x plus 2, and x minus 5. So in order to graph f of x equals x, let's just um, figure out some points. So when x is 0, what is f of x? Because here's my x and f of x axes. So when x is 0, f of x would have to, it's equal to x, so it would have to be 0. So I would have a point here at the origin. Okay. When f of x, or when x is 1, then f of x should also be 1, because there should be equals. So when we have 1 and 1, there's a point there. Okay. Uh, when f of x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to negative 1, f of x is also equal to negative 1. So we'd have negative 1, negative 1. And so we should end up getting this function right here. And what this is called, I'll extend it a little farther, what this is called is the parent function. Okay, so this thing is the parent function. It's like before you were born, um, you're like the altered stage. You're the x plus 2 or the x minus 5, and the parent function is the unaltered stage. Okay? Awesome. So let's try... Let's try um, Let's graph f of x is equal to x plus 2. I'll do this one in red. So again, let's just kind of plug in points. So when x is 0, we'd have 0 plus 2, y is 2. And so we'd get a point at 0, 2, which is right here. When x is 1, y is 1 plus 2, 3. So we get point 1, 3. When x is negative 1, y, or f of x, is negative 1 plus 2, which makes 1. So we'd have a point at negative 1, 1. Okay. And then we would have, I'm going to try not to touch the, x, ax, the, the axes, because I don't want to um, d... Eh, never mind. I'll just scrape a little from. Okay, and so we should have this function here. Okay. And we see that all when we added 2, all that happened was we took this function and we moved it up 1, 2 units. 1, 2 units. Every time, every time. So we, sh we had a translation or a, sh a shift vertically. Okay. Let's graph, and I'm going to graph this one in blue, x, f of x equals x minus 5. So again, oh, sorry about that. So again, let's just plug in points. When x is 0, we have 0 minus 5 is negative 5. When x is 1, 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And when x is 2, or excuse me, let's use negative 1 so we can get a negative value. When x is negative 1, we have negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. So let's plot these points. We've got 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 here. And 1, negative 4, which should be here, right? Positive 1, negative 4 and negative 1, negative 6, which is here. And we end up getting this function. Keep going. Here, and no, we have these three parallel lines. And notice, we took all we did was when we subtracted 5, we took the parent function and we moved it down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So what we could say is that when you add a, a constant k, so we have f of x is equal to x plus k. When you add a constant k to this graph, then we would all we would need to do, all it does is it translates it either up or down. It translates it vertically. So it is a vertical translation. Okay, to translate just means to move. Translation. Okay? And that's the end of the vertical translation video.